Hi everyone, Marion here. Today I'm really excited to tell you about uh, my new studies. I've been doing uh, a sustainable living course with the University of Tasmania and it's been really, really interesting. Um, and I'm really looking forward to, I think, sharing a little bit more about my own journey with sustainability, um, which I've been part, of, uh, been at quite active in for some time. Uh, my husband and I have bought a house in um, Glen Iris about two years ago now, I think. And we've been slowly um, doing what we can to make the house more sustainable. Um, and most of our attention has begun um, in the backyard. We've been planting a lot more natives um, and trying to kind of rewild the backyard to improve the biodiversity. We live in a very urban environment, so it's really important to us to attract as much, um, I guess, you know, pollinators and different birds and um, create a, more of a canopy. Uh, there was a lot of uh, really sort of cottage European trees and, um, and plants in, in our backyard. Um, so we have actually removed them and, and we've put natives back in, which we really love. And it's starting to really grow now. You know, I've been noticing different insects and um, lots of different birds coming um, to enjoy, you know, feeding on the insects as well, which is really nice. Um, we're lucky in our street, actually, that there is a, quite a big corridor of um, indigenous trees that are really well established i'd say maybe even some of them are 100 years old and so it's nice to just kind of keep extending that um that corridor in our garden and next we plan to do the front front garden and get a nice big tree to put in there um so recently you know as part of my studies i've become inspired to sort of share more about my our our personal journey with sustainability um, and sustainable living. I think it can um, really help to share our knowledge um, in the community. And I was speaking to someone at council on the weekend and just saying, you know, like we're, we're um, doing all of this work on our house and in our garden to make it more sustainable. Um, and I'm quite interested because it is a really old house um, how we can do that, how we can make our house sort of more of an eco house, even though it is an Edwardian, um, you know, house that's over a hundred years old now. And she was like, yeah, that's, that's a really great idea because there's so many, uh, heritage homes in this area. It's really well known for that. So, um, I thought it would be a great idea to start sharing that and putting together some blogs and really, um, Kind of yeah sharing our journey with making our home more sustainable and i'm kind of i feel inspired about doing it creatively because i love like i've been to quite a few eco builds um and spent time in them and i i love that idea of um just repurposing what we've already got but making it more sustainable um, and being creative about the way we do that and so uh, the first step we did was to get an energy assessment and we went with a company called Be Comfy and I'm going to provide all the links, you know, for the different people that we're working with. Um, she was really amazing. She came over and um, she spent the day here and just checked everything like from the building structure to the, you know, the windows and then all of the amenities like um, the gas and the heating and the cooling, um, the electric uh, and, and how the electricity works. Um, obviously, we want to eventually go solar. Um, but then they also give you a report and they tell you all the different changes that you can make and kind of, you know, what ones are the high impact and what ones... Um, might be low cost, high impact versus, you know, low impact, high cost. Um, there's also a number of different rebates available depending on where you are um, in Australia. And um, the other great thing is I think it only cost about $300. So it's really cheap and it's a really comprehensive report and they have um, 
great links to um, different people who can help you um, start to do the work as well. So where we've started that upstairs, we've already um, installed all double glazed windows and soundproof and weatherproof um, doors that completely seal. Um, and we've really noticed a big change just doing that. And the next thing will be um, window coverings and blinds um, that will provide even more block out. Um, and from there, I think we're getting some caulking done fairly soon, which is sealing up all the gaps in the house, which is a massive job because it is a big old Edwardian house. And you can imagine one of the big things with um, old houses, is they're quite leaky. Um, and that'll include the fireplaces as well. So I will keep you updated on our progress. Um, and I will share more photos and more blogs and more videos on the different elements to this amazing transformation that we're doing. And I hope to inspire you to think about ways in which you can make your house and garden more sustainable. Um, and if you have any comments on, on um, or recommendations, um, please feel free to email me or comment in the, um, in the messages below um, and I look forward to reading those. So have a great week everyone. Bye for now.